In this episode, we add another member to our G.I. Joe classified family. This time, it is Warrant Officer Flint. So, stick around. and dorkettes and welcome to it came from my side of the laundry room my name's rob and in this episode we are going to unbox and review or just take a look at the newest addition to the gi joe classified family here in the laundry room and that is flint yeah this was a character i had growing up and i absolutely loved him he was great in the cartoon great in the comic book and just a great all-around action figure I mean, he came with a backpack, a sawed-off shotgun, and you really didn't need much else. I mean, he was just a classic, no-frills, awesome dude. So, without further ado, let's jump into the unboxing and see how this Flint measures up. Yo, Joe! Okay, here we go, folks. Flint. And let's take a look at the packaging first. I mean... Pretty solid artwork. I mean, could be a little bit better. I mean, that's the one thing about the classified figure series that, yeah, the packaging differs from character to character. I mean, it's not like it was back in the old days where you just had a few artists doing all the great artwork. This time, it just seems like they get many different people to do many different styles. I mean, if you think back to the Duke figure, I mean, that almost looked cartoony. And you look at some of the other ones and they look very realistic. So here we go looking at the spine. I mean, it, it's okay. Not as nice as the Lady J one, that's for sure. Let's take... He's number 26. Lady J was number 25. That's the first time I've ever had consecutive numbers. So I feel like a big boy collector now. Sorry for the glare. Of course, it's my lighting. And we got a bunch of gibberish that we still have not looked up what they mean. But why does he have a shuriken? Anyway, um, I'm assuming that means like military tactics or something. So before we begin, let me apologize for the noise in the background that's the washing machine and as i always say that's not a shtick of the show that's just life i just have to do laundry while i'm down here and kill two birds with one stone and yeah adulting but anyway let's get this tape off of here and get flint out and it doesn't have a lot of accessories as you see just like the original figure I uh, wish he would have came with a backpack like the original figure, but we have a pistol. Well, first, let's pop out his beret. Always cool when they have helmets or hats. Have kind of a quasi-futuristic sawed-off shotgun. Would have just dug like a nice bare bones one like the original. Whoa! And we have a handgun. So, apologize for the noise. Throw the plastic off to the side. And let's take a look here. Like a lot of the classified figure, he comes with armored plates here and there. But, I mean, that's what we see in modern warfare. A lot of ceramic plates and armor inside the flak jackets and everything very bulky his vest makes him bulkier but he just seems bulky without it so that's pretty cool barrel chested dude has a scar here whoop sorry if that was off camera has a scar here very reminiscent of the original gi joe figure from the 60s and 70s and he's got some weight to him that some of the other figures don't have. Of course, full mobility here. Many points of articulation. 
Got some funky looking grenades here or claymores or something. So let's put his pistol in its holster. And he's got this big old shotgun holster here. That's kind of neat. But we want our dude to be holding it. as the Joe communicator or whatever that most of the figures have. So let's put this beret on and see how it holds up. Nice and snug fit, very nice. Looks good. Look at that fade on the back of his haircut. That's kind of neat. What's that? What's up there? Uh, has a smug look on his face. That kind of fits. But like I said, the one thing that just instantly hits me is he feels bulky. Feels like he has some heft to him. Barrel chested, like I said. Bray. Great addition. I mean, fits very snug, very nice. Looks great. I mean, looks like Flint. So let's give him his gun here. Ooh. Well, look at that. I thought I was going to break it. But look at that. He can load up some shells. Blonk, blonk. Interesting surprise. I did not expect that. I was going to say, look how easily this would have been broken, but it's supposed to do that. Let's put his finger in the trigger here. Whoa. Excuse me while I... His wrist seems a little suspect by trying to do this. And they should have made this hand a little bit more open to hold the pump action here. Nah, he'll just pretend. So let's see if we can get him to stand up. Change the camera here. Looks good to me. Looks like Flint. Will look great next to Lady J and Duke and Snake Eyes. Because at the moment, I have more Cobra than I do... G.I. Joe. Now I think it's even. Even playing field. So that's always good. But yeah. Just like the original. Just a no frills figure. Like I said. Just <clears throat> really impressed with how bulky he seems. I mean. Seems like a muscular barrel chested dude. Um, fits the character. Fits the toy. Um, yeah, I mean, he looks different than he did his original figure, but I ain't hating. Looks good. I've seen some great customizing, uh, sites online that they have repainted him and kind of sanded down some of the bits and stuff and have him looking just like he does G1 and people that do, um, oh, why is the word escaping me? The, uh the printing the 3d printing of the weapons and stuff so maybe one day if i get a little froggy i uh there's a guy on etsy that sells a whole slew of g1 inspired weaponry and maybe one day i'll get some of that but for now i am happy with him just the way he is so yeah let's just leave it at that this is flint 
very happy with it. Uh, yeah. So thanks for watching. And now back to me. I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was great to unbox another addition to the collection. And Flint is just, yeah, classic character that I've always loved. I mean, I kind of felt like growing up that he was trying to replace Duke, but I mean, I got over it and he was an awesome addition to the G.I. Joe family. But I mean, yeah, there were things that they could have done to this figure to make him more authentic to his G1 counterpart, but nonetheless, this is a great figure and yeah, really happy to have him up on the shelf and to have him with Lady J. I mean, you have to have one with the other. I mean, they're just a package deal and that's awesome. So I was very happy and fortunate to get both of these for my birthday. But anyway, yeah. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please give me a thumbs up. If you got something to say, please leave a comment. I love reading them and I love getting back to everybody. And if you're new around here and you enjoyed this or any of the episodes that YouTube is recommending down here, please hit subscribe. And if you hit that little bell icon, you will be notified whenever there's a new episode. So anyway, thanks for watching. Keep being rad and stay dorky.